Good morning, folks. Interesting article on all counts here, especially if you dig the planetary birthing idea. The lunar impact theory just got jacked in the face. Better article here on the Mendocino Triple Junction, where California meets Oregon. The discourse online surrounding megaquakes in this region is a mix of legitimate risk, being long overdue, and seasoned with a government-approved dose of fear-mongering. But on a serious note here, it appears that land change rates are 3 to 10 times faster in Northern California than in Oregon, and the thickness of Earth's crust is increasing in a slow-moving geological wave traveling north. Top story last night was the CME analysis from yesterday morning's M-Flare. NASA updated their complete diagnosis midday, starting with likely impact on their Enlil spiral. Now NOAA's spiral also shows impact, a double actually, with the biggest hitting on the 15th. I struggle to see that though with such low CME speed diagnosed by Cactus. That again, what's coming at Earth is occluded behind the central disk blocking solar glare. Instead, I'm more likely to side with NASA here, 24 hours later until impact, likely early on the 16th, with no major effects, low-level magnetic storms if anything. Amazing, the Indian death toll is just 17. Just 17. The major northward rain and wind events are to come and I'd expect those to dwarf the coastal numbers. Vietnam, Japan, one after another. See the tropical development off Mexico set to slam the coastline, but also the moisture is being cannibalized by a southwest low pressure cell that is causing snow up into the Rockies, and making sure that former flood zone doesn't get any silly ideas. New Zealand? I wasn't kidding, was I? If you got the rain, you likely got a ton of it. In Europe, we're still looking at that central low regulating while the system in the Atlantic gets its act together. Solar flaring has declined since the M-flare, matching the sunspot decay mentioned yesterday, it's ongoing. Bottom left, blue and red, within the penumbral region is the lone danger zone, our last remaining delta spot. If you don't understand these things I'm talking about, please see our free video, How to Watch the Sun, here on YouTube. Still not much happening but minor ejecta in the group here. Three days ago we had significant coronal holes on the disk facing Earth. They set their streams this way, and I believe impact is starting now. The BZ, density, speed, even temperature are spiked at the end, so we'll come to more recent 6-hour data. Throughout the day we'll watch. If the density goes down and the speed continues to rise throughout the day, we will know it's the coronal hole stream. And speaking of the coronal holes, ISWA shows weakening on the northern incomer and strength in the southern Earth facing opening. Umbral up through coronal magnetic fields here reveals the fields are still partially blocking those magnetics. We're middle of the road on all the factors. Sunspots are in decay. Bit of a break to start our Monday in the States. Got the HMI, AIA, and IRIS to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.